اهلا وسهلا اهلا وسهلا يا شباب so as you can see um, we added the docker file in a previous video i just added some comments here and yeah um, so that you know what you what you uh, need to do here and yeah we added the docker file i pushed the branch so please make sure you start with the init underscore project underscore v1 uh, branch if you want to completely follow along or just check out the docker file underscore v1 uh, v2 a branch where the, there's already a docker file like when you check it out here you see the docker file and yeah so i'm now i'm now just creating a new branch call it pipeline v3 so create and now finally we start with the pipeline in order to do that there are some things we need to do to set up the pro proper folder structure go to your root here so and say new directory and this directory needs to be named dot github and inside of github we are creating another directory click on git dot github directory say new directory say workflows please make sure you really make it in, in the plural so workflows and yeah the github actions pipeline needs this setup it needs a dot github folder and it needs inside of dot github the workflows directory and now we can name our yaml file for the build project i mean for the pipeline as we please so just say new file i will call it ci cd dot yaml you can name it as you want just make sure you have the dot yaml at the end and yes i want to add this dot yaml to the um to git to version control okay and now we can start to set up our pipeline just give it a name name i call it build and deployment and as i said you can name it as you want but yeah perhaps it's better you stick to my naming convention <laughs> and this pipeline should be triggered on push and on which branches we we will define it now and we say when it's pushed to master ah yes so and now we have to say it should also be triggered when a pull request occurs pull request branches on which branches the pull request when someone creates a pull request for the master branch of course so let's start now the next part is to add the jobs there will be two jobs one job for the build and one job for deployment and we start of course with the build job jobs say build next thing we have to we can give it a name we don't have to i will call it build project so and it should run on the job should run on um, ubuntu of course but make sure please you say ubuntu dash 2020 04 because this is also our this is the jammy version of ubuntu and this is also on our server if you followed along and no, don't use please latest or so because when the latest um workflow gets updated or maintained it might cause some errors and so on and it may, because it's not available so i would always stick to specific versions in your pipeline to avoid some mistakes uh, now we can add some other things for our build job and the next thing is it will we will add a step for um for 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 uh slack sorry i just slept 
the steps now we can define with steps and we'll name we will give it a name let's call it slack notification ci slash cd started and yeah we just have to now say uses what is this use basically with uses we go to github marketplaces github actions marketplace there you can find all the things we define here so this has a really funny number so eight three nine eight a seven slash action dash slack and we free we can use here and we say with Oh, I, I just forgot, forgot the call. And I was just wondering why is this, this error message popping up? But yeah, uh, we want the status. Let's define it. Status. Hmm. So, and here we say we want the job status. That's, we are interested right now. And the next lines, I will just copy add from my GitHub, uh, from my medium.com article, just a bit lazy right now to type everything out. Basically just, you can take the whole step here and copy paste it. I guess it's also a little bit easier for you to follow along. So as, it, as we said, the name is Slack notification CICD started. And then we say we are using uh, Slack here, action, which can be found here in marketplaces and we're interested in the status and the job status and yeah it, these are some mandatory required fields and we can also add some um, text here so as you can see i have cicd started these are just um the colon ice colon is from slack this is a slack here emoji you can look for it eyes as you can see is it it's this one so and then i added some arabic in here if you start from right i have written it out it says bismillah rahman rahim the name of god the merciful the merciful the compassionate uh, so you know also what now bismillah rahman rahim means and uh, we, we say it always when we start something or start eating um, or for instance now it's Ramadan if you, for iftar if you if you break your fast you say also Bismillah rahman rahim when you eat your date and drink some water and now we give it some environment variables and we say the Slack web hook URL which will be which we will get from our GitHub secrets but we have to define it first and for this I mean you can. Uh, just if you want you don't have to add the slack notifications but i think it's a nice thing to add so yeah if you want to completely follow along just do what i do otherwise just remove the slack notifications in here make sure you have installed slack as you can see you have the slack app just go to slack.com and then you can download it and yeah we can now we have first we have to add a channel we'll create a new channel we say cicd uh, dash for api and we you can give it a description if you want but i don't want i just create it uh, skip for now i don't want to add anyone so now we have created a slack channel and uh, now we can start to add some things. Um, but yeah, 
I think I will stop the video now. I don't want that it gets too long. Just you have all the time to, you know, pause, install Slack and just to follow along with me. And I would say I see you in the next video where we just start adding the webhook and the GitHub secret for Slack. So see you in the next video. Ilalikaya Shabab.